Hello, my name is Dr. Seema Shah Fairbank, and in this video, we will cover channel types. By the end of this video, you will be able to identify channel types based on normal and critical depth and define water surface control within an open channel. Channel type is a term used to define the slope characteristics of a channel. If you are given a channel with a critical depth less than the normal depth as shown, this is defined as a mild channel. When your critical depth is greater than your normal depth, as shown is in the second image, you are given a steep channel. The third image shows you a normal and critical depth that is equivalent. These channels are defined as a critical channel. Channels that have a slope equal to zero are defined as a horizontal channel, and a normal depth cannot be determined because in the Manning's equation, a slope raised to the one-half power of zero would result in no flow. And fifth, a channel that has a slope less than zero would be an adverse channel. You'd be able to calculate the critical depth, but the normal depth cannot be determined because a negative slope raised to the one-half power in the Manning's equation would result in an imaginary root. Once we have determined the flow type, we can calculate the flow control. Flow control explains how the water surfaces are formed and how in future you will be able to perform calculations. The first type of control is defined as a downstream control. Downstream control occurs when your river is defined as a subcritical channel. When your river is subcritical, there are two types of controls that can be identified. Either you're given a known water surface elevation this usually occurs at a structure, such as a dam, or you are given a critical depth control. An upstream control channel is the result of a supercritical river. It too will either be given as a known water surface elevation or a critical depth control. The final type of control is a normal depth control. This would result in the flow being equivalent to the normal depth throughout the channel. I hope this video helps you better understand the flow channel types based on the slope characteristics of normal and critical depth and how to identify the controls based on a subcritical flow regime, supercritical flow regime, and a normal depth. 